2011 15-inch MacBook Pro Display Assembly Replacement. Remove seven Phillips head screws starting in the top left corner and going around the contour of the MacBook. These are the shorter screws. Now remove the three long Phillips head screws. Those ten screws will release the cover. Go ahead and lift it and remove it. Disconnect the battery before we begin. Display assembly removal. Go ahead and start by disconnecting the LVDS cable. Pull up on the locking lever and pull it out of the socket. You can now access the LVDS cable bracket. It's screwed in with one Phillips head screw. Unscrew it but leave the screw in place and remove the bracket. Let's disconnect the Wi-Fi and the iSight cables now. Remove the two Phillips head screws securing the Wi-Fi bracket in place. The one on the right is short and the one on the left is the long Phillips head screw. With the bracket free, we can now disconnect the four Wi-Fi antenna cables. First trace out the eyesight cable. Now you can disconnect the four Wi-Fi antenna cables by putting the screwdriver underneath it and popping them out. Now pry the cables out of the bracket. The cables are part of the LCD assembly. Let's remove the Wi-Fi antenna bracket. It's held in with one Phillips head screw. Remove the screw and remove the bracket. We can now lift up, open, and hang the MacBook over the table edge. Remove the three T6 screws that are holding in the left hinge. Now remove the three T6 screws holding in the right hinge. We can now lift up and remove the display. Display assembly installation. Insert display into the MacBook. Make sure none of the Wi-Fi antenna cables are trapped. Secure one T6 screw in the middle of each hinge. This will allow you to align the display properly. After installing one T6 screw in each hinge, go ahead and reinstall the other four T6 screws. Lift up, close, and place the MacBook into position. Install the Wi-Fi antenna cable bracket first. Install the bracket. Make sure to loop its Phillips head screw through the Wi-Fi antenna loop. You can now install the Wi-Fi card bracket with two Phillips head screws, the long ones on the left. The short Phillips head screws on the right. Now reconnect the four Wi-Fi antenna cables. First loop in and secure the eyesight cable 
then starting with the longest antenna first, reinstall the antenna cables into the bracket. Reconnect the eyesight to the logic board. Now reconnect the Wi-Fi cable to the logic board. We can now reinstall the LVDS cable bracket. Place the bracket. Make sure it's going over the LVDS cable. Secure it with the one Phillips head screw. Can now plug in the LVDS cable into the socket. Make sure the locking lever is up and be gentle when making this connection. This connection is very fragile. Once it's all the way in, lock in the cable bracket. Reconnect the battery. Place the cover back. Install the three long Phillips head screws first. Starting in the top right corner, going left. Now install the seven short Phillips head screws, starting in the top left corner and going around the contour of the MacBook. 